Hey guys, we finally have the first demo of our Cashew Smart Wallet made from the first mold used in our manufacturing. Hope you are as excited as we are. Okay, let me take you through the visual of the exteriors of wallet. As we mentioned in our last update, we have managed to reduce the thickness of the wallet by 5 millimeters. Let us see how this compares to a traditional wallet in the market. Also, the exteriors has a great smooth finish with a premium look. For the components that are on the exteriors of the wallet, you have a biometric fingerprint reader here, an LED light, a USB charger for your wallet, and the steel rims all around the wallet. Now let's move to the features of the Cashew wallet. I've already downloaded the Cashew app from the Play Store. Fill in your credentials as you see on the screen and press the next button. This is the step in which the Cashew wallet tries to connect with your phone. Once the wallet connects, you see a blue LED light blinking and you click on the biometric fingerprint reader for it to pair. Now your Cashew wallet has been paired successfully. Press the next button. This makes the wallet enter the fingerprint reader zone and this is where you actually scan your fingerprints and store them. Now you can use the begin scan on your phone app and then use your wallet biometric fingerprint reader to scan your fingerprint. Once the fingerprint is scanned, you can use the fingerprint. Now this is the first screen that you get on your app after you have registered your fingerprint. Let's go through all of these features one by one and understand what this does with the wallet. The first feature on your list is Buzz My Wallet. On Buzz My Wallet, when you click on Play Sound, this is when your wallet starts buzzing. So every time you forget or misplace your wallet and it's within the Bluetooth range, you can track your wallet. Now, a very interesting feature is unlocking your wallet in case your fingerprint reader doesn't work. On the app, click on Unlock Your Wallet and Unlock Your Wallet and you will see this opens up automatically. Let's try this again. I'm going to click on Unlock My Wallet and it automatically unlocks your wallet. The next feature is calibrating additional biometric locks for your other fingers or for your family. Now, for example, if I want to add and scan a new fingerprint, I click, it enters the fingerprint mode. I can say, begin scan. So now I've added another finger on my fingerprint reader. Now, you can now also name your fingerprints based on the access that you're giving to people. So these are the two fingerprints. One is the thumb and one is an index finger that I have. You can choose to manage these fingerprints on your own. The best pa part about the app is the settings menu. Now this is the place where if there are other firmware upgrades that we want to give to you in case we're adding new features, you can go to the firmware version and it updates the files automatically. You can click on check for updates and there is no update currently so it's not going to update. Another interesting feature here is to enable push notifications. Now this is in case you leave your wallet behind and you walk away and you want a notification every time this your wallet goes out of your Bluetooth zone. So I just enable that and I'm going to be walking away from my wallet. Now, I've already received a notification here, and this is the notification. Forgetting your cashew behind, let us find it for you. And if you actually go back to your wallet,
your wallet is actually beeping. Now you can choose to mute the sound in case you don't want the wallet to be beeping every time you leave it behind. Now let's get to the interiors of the wallet and the latching mechanism. As you guys already know, we have already saved a fingerprint. So now that the wallet is unlocked, this is how we have designed the interiors of the wallet. We have three slots at the beginning and we have a flip which goes all the way behind and we have a slot here which is meant for any of your IDs and we have another three slots on the behind. Now the three slots on the behind are RFID protected and there is no RFID protection on the front of the wallet. So in all you can actually save seven cards in your wallet. On the right side you can save your cash and this can take up to 30 notes, 30 global notes. Uh, we have replaced the pin that we used originally to optimize the space for us. For the latching mechanisms, these are the rims, steel rims that we spoke about and you have grooves on this which actually fits in to the latch going into the wallet. And this is how you latch your wallet back. Hope you loved the features of Cashew Smart Wallet and we will come back to you with more updates.